What we are in Fargo Moorhead is a refugee resettlement site. What do we do with the pet? Cook. Cook. We have lots of people coming from those war-torn places, Sierra Leone, uh, Liberia, and now uh, Burundi. Okay. So final answer. But all of a sudden, these people are getting off the airplane, and they don't know how they got here. Where can we find a way to help these new Americans who might have been a nurse or a doctor at home move ahead and get a job. All the area is like At the end of a rewarding career as a college educator, Michelle McRae started her retirement, one that lasted all of three weeks. I direct the Giving Plus Learning Program, whose mission is to help new Americans succeed. And they do it by practicing English with a mentor, one-on-one, -on -one, one hour a week. North Dakota may seem an unlikely place to find thousands of refugees from 42 different countries. But Giving Plus Learning matches up these new Americans with nearly 600 volunteer tutors, many of whom are from the Fargo area's growing retired population. We have a woman working with us now. She's an English teacher over at Moorhead State. And when I see her interact with a young woman that she's helping learn English, they really like each other, and I don't think any of that would have happened if Giving Plus Learning hadn't made the connection. As the mentoring program has grown, it also helps with certified nurses training education, driver permit lessons, citizenship studies, and online job applications. And Michelle's efforts in the community haven't gone unnoticed. She really takes the time to sit down and to talk to you. We have a sense that she's a listener. Before we finish our sentence, she's already finding the solution. So I see Michelle not as one person, but I see Michelle with probably 8,000 refugees behind her. Along the way, Michelle's programs have also helped change some attitudes about immigration in the heartland. We've had some mentors who have said to us, are you crazy? You think I'm going to help that person? And yet, little by little, things change. I never see Michelle mad. She listens, she has patience. I like her, really. And if I not meet Michelle, I don't think I'd be here today. Oh, well, you're doing great. Because Michelle, she opened a lot of doors in the life to me. Giving plus learning also works with adult education programs like Operation Head Start. We get calls from a lot of students who are not able to come into class because they have childcare, transportation, or are housebound. And so I refer them then to Michelle because she can find a, a mentor who's willing to go to the home of the student. We weren't able to do that in the past. I'm just always amazed at the continuing amount of ideas she has, and I'm hoping I'm like her someday. <laughs> There's a French expression about retirement years, troisième âge, the third age. What are you gonna do with all these extra years? I can't play bingo all the time. You want this guy in? I've been blessed with a partner who's pretty open. We love to travel. We like to cook. So I'm going to stick hers in. Before I married Michelle, you know what she thought a pizza was? <laughs> Bisquick and Velveeta cheese. And I still married her. You are hopeful. Yes. And my husband Tony mentors for us because it's such an interesting project. I have a Nelson Mandela quote on my bathroom wall, and it's about we are really all empowered to do more than we really want to do. Oh, hi. Where are you from? You know, you want to say, well, I, I can't do that. But you do have the power to do it. For the extraordinary contributions she's making in her encore career, Michelle McRae wins the 2008 Purpose Prize. <laughs>